Coptic Voice Radio presents the reading of the Synexarium and the Antiphonary of this blessed day. Today is the 20th day of the blessed month of Abib. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren, Amen. On this day of the year 220 AD, St. Theodore of Shotep was martyred. His father's name was John, and he was from the city of Shotep in Upper Egypt. He went with his regiment to the city of Antioch, where he married the daughter of a pagan nobleman, and begot by her this St. Theodore. When his mother wanted to present him to the house of idols to be educated there, his father refused. She became angry, drove him away, and the child remained with his mother. His father, John, prayed ceaselessly and entreated God to guide his son, Theodore, to the path of salvation. The child grew up and learned philosophy, wisdom, and literature. The Lord Christ illuminated his heart, and Theodore went to a righteous bishop who baptized him. When his mother heard of this, she sorrowed greatly, but the saint did not mind her. He joined the army and advanced in the ranks until he became one of the great generals during the reign of Emperor Lucianus. The people of the city of Iochitos worshipped a great serpent and offered to him a human sacrifice every year. While St. Theodore was passing through this district, he saw a woman crying bitterly. He asked her about the reason for her crying. She answered him, saying, I am a widow, and they have taken my two sons to offer them as a sacrifice to the serpent, although I am Christian. He said to himself, They have wronged this woman, but God shall avenge her. He came down from his horse and turned his face towards the east and prayed, then drew near the serpent. The people of the city were watching him from the tops of the walls of the city. The serpent was fourteen cubits long, but God gave him power over it, and he speared it with his spear and killed it, and delivered the sons of the widow. After this, Theodore came to Egypt to search for his father, and he stayed with him until he died, and then returned to Antioch. He found that the emperor had apostatized the faith and started to persecute the Christians. He came before him and confessed the Lord Christ. The emperor ordered him beaten with rods, burned, and cast into the fire. He delivered up his soul and received the crown of martyrdom. A Christian woman took his body. It was said that she was his mother. After she gave much money to the soldiers and hid his body until the end of the time of persecution. Churches were built in his name in many, many cities. May his prayers be with us and glory be to God forever. Amen. The Antiphonary of the Twentieth Day of Abi. Saint Theodore, the strong martyr, the brave, the great one of Christ the King. For you left behind the earthly dominance and followed Christ and his angels. You stripped yourself of all weapons of soldiery and put on true purity. Your life was like unto that of Daniel the prophet, beholder of visions and manifestations. Daniel of that time tore down the bow and killed the snake of Babel. This strong martyr killed the dragon, which they worshipped in Ophetus. Daniel of that time saved Susanna when she was carried away by adversaries who wished to kill her. This martyr, the hero, saved the children of the widow from that evil dragon. Joshua, son of Nun, killed many through the stretching out of Moses' arms. And this strong martyr destroyed the barbarians with the sign of the cross that was in his chapel. These three youths received honor because they patiently endured in the midst of the fire. And St. Theodore received honor because he fulfilled his struggle in the midst of the fire. St. Theodore, David the prophet, spoke of your honor in the psalm. For you truly crushed the heads of the dragon with your power. Diocletian became intensely angry and spoke to you with great rage, saying, Theodore, why did you kill the dragon that is worshipped by the people of Ochitis? The brave one, the hero, St. Theodore, said, The gods of the nations are devils. My Lord Jesus Christ created heaven and earth. The king became angry and sent him to the east. He was perfected by the fire at that place and completed the struggle of martyrdom and rejoiced with Christ in his kingdom. Hail to Theodore the hero, the pure martyr of Jesus Christ. Hail to Theodore the struggler, the shining star in the world. Hail to Theodore the prince, the precious stone in the kingdom of heaven. 
Hail to Theodore the Prince, the joy and pride of all the martyrs. Through the prayers of the Prince Theodore, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Martyr and struggler, Theodore the hero, my weak tongue tires not when it praises you. O you who was found among the plants, those which the Lord had sown in his field, which gave forth fruit, a hundred, sixty, and thirty. You, the one who became a pure, unadulterated offering, whose want was to raise himself as an offering to the Lord God. You who rejected all the glory of this passing world and its temporal pride for the sake of the love of Christ. Saint Theodore, all the people who dwelt in the country of Ochitis, witnessed your great courage when you girded your loins and killed the dragon, destroyer of the children, and saved the widow's children for her. All the afflicted who seek you and go to your church, God grants them salvation and healing through you. You who killed the Satan, the great dragon, with the shield of the faith and the sword of the Holy Spirit. Hail to Theodore, Prince of Power. Hail to the good struggler and fighter. Hail to the carrier of the lantern of the people of heaven. Brave and triumphant one, supplicate Christ for us. Hail to him in whom was fulfilled the prophetic saying, You trample upon the snake and the king of serpents. Hail to Theodore, the righteous one, God's pure offering, for you gave up your soul and your body as an oblation to the Lord God. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O struggle mantled of martyrdom, Theodore the hero, that he may forgive us our sins.